entirely sure. The, the cow is gallivanting around. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell? Why has he disappeared out here? What are you doing? Get back to the farm. Yeah, is he chasing him around? <laughs> oh, yes. He's fetching rogue livestock. Hello, people. And welcome back to part four of Farthest Frontier. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, thank you so much for all the support again on this series. Just so much fun uh, to see another game other than City's doing well on the channel. Uh, so we can definitely keep playing this. Uh, especially when we get cute little party turn in like this. We did last episode, right? <laughs> this is the best. And yes, just having a bunch of fun playing this game. But we have work to do, so let's crack on, shall we? So we want to hit level 3 today, ideally. And now a lot of these guys are super near to their desirability bonus, uh, which is great. But a few of them are missing two different types of food. And our food stores aren't the best thing in the world right now. So I think what we're going to do is totally uh, rejig the setup of our farms and try and teach the opening of this episode as uh, something of a farm instruction. And we had a fantastic comment at last episode from Louise Reyes, who has kind of walked us through of how to set up a rotating farm system across three different fields. So that's what we're going to start the episode off with today, as to how to make our farms as efficient as possible. So I'm going to remove everything from every single field right now. So everything needs to go. Same over here as well, just disappear. So this method of farming should bag us a set of rotating crops across all fields, so no matter what time of year, we should have a base stock level of all of our crops. So in field number one, which is our largest main field up here, we're going to pick a, our first crop. And we're going to go for something that is uh, very heat tolerant, such as beans. That seems like it's going to be a good shout. And then I'm going to place in some clover uh, for field fertility. Then at the start of the second year, we're going to do uh, some field maintenance, which is going to remove rocks and uh, weeds for our farm, which is very important to keep boosting uh, the yield that we get and then after that field maintenance we're going to do uh, a rotation of wheat which of course we can grind now thanks to the windmill last episode and then in year three we're going to do some different crops so we'll do something that is heat tolerant because this is going to be a warm time of year uh, let's go for and then we'll do some turnips and then some leeks to finish off the year so these are our first sort of set of crops okay got some fertility in there alongside some maintenance so this is crop uh, one set up then in the next field, we're going to start off with the uh, last rotation of crops from this one. So in this case, it's turnips and leeks. So we're going to start with them. We're going to go for turnips and then leeks again. And then at the start of year two, in the second field, we're going to be doing uh, the same crops that we did here, which in our case uh, is beans and uh, clovers. So we're going to add in uh, some beans and then a clover planting. And then at the start of year three, we're going to do some field maintenance. So after that field maintenance, we can either go for rye or wheat. We want some sort of grain crop. So rye yields are not as much as wheat, but less affected by lower fertility. So it's a 60% fertility in this field, but we are planting clover immediately before it. So that's going to help increase fertility. So with that in mind, we're going to plant some more wheat in here. So in the first field, second year, we have a grain crop. In the second field, third year, we have the grain crop. So in this field here, I want to start planting the grain crop here as well. So we're going to come in here and then we're going to add in. Why don't we go for another one? Let's try uh, some buckwheat, which is not at all frost tolerant. Okay, so why don't we make sure we grow this in the summer then? Let's start with some field maintenance and then we'll go for buckwheat. And then can we squeeze in a clover there? No, it's just a little bit too short, but that's okay. Uh, is there perhaps a really frost tolerant veg we can get in? Let's get a turnip in as well then. Then at the start of the second year, we're going to go for that fertility boost again. And then we'll go for some more beans. And then the third year, we will also go for some uh, flax. And we'll do two sessions of flax, uh, which will help feed our uh, tailor shop to make us clothes. So hopefully now we're going to see how this farm configuration sets us up. Uh, an enormous shout out to Louise again for that. We're going to see how effective that is, but hopefully this allows us to keep a core stock of all our crops all year round. We're going to wait and see. I did lose 31 bread to spoil it, which is okay. Let's see how these are all getting on. So this guy is full of storage. Our storage cart here. 
He is holding 459 grain, however. Yeah, see, I'd rather us be storing the grain in the granary. I'm not entirely sure why. It's just chilling in the storage cart there. There doesn't seem to be an option to sort of dump it into the granary, but maybe people will transfer it over time. I guess we'll wait and see. Okay, but either way, that should allow us to uh, hold up some steadier food stocks now. Oh, we have seven raiders. We've been raided again. Okay, let's see if Useless can actually do her job this time. About to fight. 20 raiders sighted. What? There's 20 of them. Where's the other ones coming from? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not the raid at the start of the episode. Where are the other guys at? Oh, they're over here. Oh, my word, do we not have a tower over this side? Oh, this is bad news, Bears. We need to garrison the town centre, quick. Everyone get in there. The raiders are attacking. Are they going to come and... Where are we? I thought, did I not build a tower over here? I thought I did. This part of town is massively undefended. Yes, I did build a tower, but of course it hasn't been built. Wonderful. Okay, so... We come in. It was very erratic. <laughs> when people come in to attack. I'm just trying to farm some wheat. Leave me alone. Is our tower here shooting? Are they out of range? Yes, they're just slightly out of range. Maybe should have put that a little bit closer to the town centre. Have any of them got away? Bill just slain by raiders on know who died. Water. Rest in peace, Water. What a beast. Catra. <laughs> Catra just slain them. Yes, they're trying to take all the gold ingots. Oh my god gonna get them we need to absolutely prioritize this tower then don't we this side of town is enormously undefended get some more workers on that hopefully they didn't take too much it looks like we killed a lot of them that were holding our gold which is the most important thing let's get that wall rebuilt as well so we'll wait for the raid report to come through hopefully we haven't lost too much Getting food lost to spoilage. It would be really nice to start reducing that spoilage rate by getting some barrels into the root cellar. But we do need uh, iron ingots for that. We might have to get some from a trader if they come our way. It's like our hunter hasn't found anything recently. Okay. Because there is no hunter. Probably because he died. Rest in peace. That is sad news, isn't it? Okay. Is that the raid over? Let's get everyone out again. Okay, yeah, so definitely more defences are needed around the town. Possibly a wall over this side as well. It is kind of hard walling off your settlement because you're constantly expanding. It's kind of like, where do you actually start and end the wall? But uh, we'll definitely get some towers over this side. The village was raided. Uh, is that it? They took five flour? <laughs> they lost ten of their men for five flour, is that all? Okay, that seems like a successful defense then, right? I guess because they, they had to run all the way over here to where we store our stuff. So it looks like no matter where they attack from, they're always going to come to your storehouses. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. We killed 10 men so they could get away with 5 bags of flour. That's good news, I'm happy with that. Oh, what's wrong with you? Nobody was homeless, build additional shelters. We have the capacity for 156 though. But okay, whatever you want. Let's go ahead and get some more housing down. Yeah, let's go for uh, some shelters here. So we've got really high desirability all around this part of town. So uh, let's see if we can squeeze in another a couple of houses over this side. That should be good for right now. Are you okay? Construction's prioritized. Yep, that's good. We have deer sighted over here. Where is our hunter currently hunting? He produced... Oh, that's the market, isn't it? Uh, where is our hunter's cabin? We did have one, though. It's there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 250 meat in the last year. That's not too bad. I'm fairly happy with that. Let's also start popping some more desirability stuff over here. So we've got another large park. That's what we did last episode. Uh, how about a shrine? Let's see what areas need desirability. A lot of the guys down here do, but this guy right by the town centre is horrendously undesirable. So... We're not going to build it there. Uh, how about a little shrine here next to the graveyard? Would that be appropriate? I don't see why not. We'll build it and see what happens. 
Also, we did recover a big chunk of our gold because they did try and get away with it. Got 20 years, so just spoilers, that's okay. Yes, food stocks are low, they always are, they always are. Uh, let's move his radius into this uh, fishing chevron. Hopefully, we'll catch a few more fish over there. There's also uh, more foraging to be done out this side. So, again, it's super mountainous around here. Um, I do want to start doing a little bit more exploring. Let's see what we can find out. Let's keep exploring this side of the map over here. See what we can find. I think I definitely want to build a forage as well here, don't I? This is like super forageable land, for lack of a better phrase. So we'll go for another forager shack. Yeah, he's got three chevrons of berries, herbs, and mushrooms out this way, so super handy. And then they can also make use of the temporary shelter up here too. And we also have a gold mine here as well. Let's go ahead and start farming some gold. It's all clustered around this temporary shelter, so we might as well just keep farming it here. So our firewood is getting low also, so let's come in with another firewood splitter. Again, we'll pop you over here. And we also could do some more planks as well. Do we have more workspaces here? No, everyone is full at that saw pit. Okay, yeah, we're definitely starting to burn through planks then as well. So let's go ahead and get another saw pit down over this side too. Keep all this area relatively undesirable. And shelter, yeah, you probably need to move. Just salvage the building. Uh, it's very undesirable land around here and you as well. Yeah, she will need at 11%. Yeah, just salvage the building. Yeah, we'll put some more market assets in here or something, make it more town century. But we're making some decent money now. We've not got very much clay, but again, we haven't really discovered that many more clay pits. But uh, it's not a resource we're really using vast amounts of at the minute. Although I do believe we need 100 of it too. Uh, actually upgrade to level 3, which we will do today. 100 planks as well, that'll be easily done. And then 1200 gold, yes, we've got that. Yeah, so we just need to keep uh, getting the desirability up. It's nice to see lots more homesteads popping up now, though. And then it's just these guys here, who are very nearly at their desirability bonus. Again, we're just going to help that along with a bit more decoration. Uh, these small gardens are relatively easy to dust. Uh, put down where we want. Let's go ahead and get a few of them around the back of the houses. Like a little repeated small garden pattern. Okay, let's see what that does. Let's also bring some new road frames down now too. Right, we'll let them flank those new gardens. Okay, sort of box them in with the road. So it would also be nice if we could perhaps place another amenity now. So these do have hidden costs. And I think we want a healer's house. It'd be nice to have this on the corner. Super desirable buildings. Well, these guys are right on the threshold. These are super undesirable too. Might be a case we want to get rid of these. So we're going to come into our winter with relatively low food stocks. We're going to see how this does if we to begin planting. I'm guessing that's because we started halfway through the year. So hopefully at the start of the next year. And we should be okay. Someone's been chased off by a wolf. And that was our explorer, wasn't it? Did you stumble across anything decent? Oh, there's a wolf den here. Okay, this is the first time we've seen this. Can we do anything with that? Doesn't seem like it, but definitely don't want to be exploring over here. So I'm assuming at some point we will also stumble across a bear den as well then. Get some more exploration down here. We haven't uncovered this side of the lake. How are we doing for grain? 890 flour in the last year. I'm guessing all of this uh, should be getting transferred to the bakery. Yes, yeah, so there is 280 bread. You have insane travel time, though. Yeah, so this can be produced by storing raw materials closer to uh, manufacturing and keeping basic needs like food and water close to homes. So where are we currently storing our flour? I just dropped it on the floor. Is it here, I wonder? Is it in this storage cart? Okay, so the flower is a mystery. It has just disappeared. We had another predator sighted. That same wolf again. <laughs> he's just escaped. And then immediately he's chased off again. So sorry, mate, but we do need to find out what's down here. Uh, yeah, there's just more fish in. It'd be nice if we can sort of wrap the settlement around this lake eventually. Sort of maybe treat this little mountain here as a boundary as to where uh, things should end. Also haven't had a trader for a little while as well. Uh, I wonder if it's b worth actually building uh, another trading post at this point. 
Oh no, actually we can't. I guess it's only one until we get into level th uh, three. Okay, we'll see. Uh, so we have a healer now. Uh, this should dramatically increase the desirability here, hopefully. Yeah, so these guys, again, they're just wanting some more food, aren't they? So we'll see if we can do some more decoration. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a wall. Do a little stone one, maybe. Sort of by building, isn't it? There's not really that much room. Okay, in that case, then we'll do some decoration. So let's go for medium garden. Next to the healer's house. Okay. Then we'll do a little wall around that. See if we can start creating little spots of personality around the village. Very much treating this like city skylines detailing, but I think we're all okay with that, right? We'll let that build. We are running out of resources, however, like massively. Okay, let's analyze our worker camps. Uh... Only wood, please. And then let's move your radius a little bit further out. Their travel time is getting longer. In that case, then come over here. It's a little bit closer. And then let's also have a look at this other workers' camp as well. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, need more workers, don't you? I think it might just be a worker demand, actually. So let's go for... Yeah, these guys are full. Your stocking. All right. Okay, so hopefully now we're in the first rotation uh, of our new crops. Thanks to Louise. So again, we're going to see uh, what we can do here. We'll find out anyway. We're going to see if this works. If the food stocks go tits up, then it's Louise's fault. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. All right, but I really enjoy the farm mechanics in this game. And uh, hopefully we're going to have some more compost soon here as well. It might also be worth building another one. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so food stocks are low. That's fine. They usually are. Uh, we are missing planks. For which we'll have another couple of workers over at the saw pit. Firewood wants another worker as well. Did we build this forager's hut out here now? This is one forager. Where are you? Yeah, he's gathering herbs there. Okay, some berries over. It's all herbs over this side, actually, isn't it? Some eggs over there as well. It's an egg party in this place, isn't it? This is the place to be, everyone. So we've got another little warning here. Uh, missing ranged ammunition. Okay, this is a job for uh, our Fletcher building. Uh, if we can find it, it is here. Yes, it is. Okay, let's add another worker in, and then we're going to up the production rate of arrows and bows, so let's make sure we keep a nice stock of them, just in case we get raided again. And again, we're starting to eat into that income now because of the services. That's because we built the healer's house. So, again, another opportunity to build ourselves another market. Oh, did I miss the trader? There is a trader here, right? Yes, there is. Goodness me. He leaves in 40 days. Score of the butcher. What is he selling? I was hoping he might sell us some cows, but judging by his name, they're probably already dead. So shoes and clay. We do need clay, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm going to buy that clay from him. He's selling it at average price. Okay, so let's transfer some gold from the main stocks. We'll have 500 in the trading post. Let's make sure we get that in. Now, is there anything we can sell him? He wants to buy tools, which we're not making. He also wants to buy a decent amount of herbs as well. We could buy meat and tallow, but yeah, he's kind of a crap trader, to be fair. At score of the butcher. Okay, so hopefully we're moving into our first rotation of crops here. So yeah, this one is field maintenance. Yeah, so we're growing beans in this section. Enemy sighted. Okay. This is the wolf den, right? Yeah, this is the one we all explored. And let's do some trading here as well. We're going to buy at least 100 clay from the trader. And then we're going to buy and transfer that into the town. Wonderful, it's 106 clay for us. And then, do we want to have some herbage? We do have quite a lot of herbs, don't we? I think they're used to making soap, right? If we can find one of our soap houses. 
yeah, these guys do want herbs. How much do we have stocked up? We do have quite a lot. How much is he buying them for? Far below the average price. Uh, in that case, then probably not. Yeah, and then he's got some stuff down here. Would really like to get a cow. It would be so good if we could start to uh, farm our own meat rather than having to rely on hunters. I also want to start flattening some of the terrain over here as well. So we can uh, start planning for future expansion. Yes, food stocks are low. It's okay. We just need to get through these first rotation of crops. Another enemy sighted. Is that the same one? Stop going over there, you idiot. Now he's going to die. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Surely he's dead now. Uh, so we do have some blueberries here. Lots of blueberries, actually. Oh, yes. So a wonderful subscriber, uh, Josh. Shout out to Josh, everyone. And um, he gave us a heads up that the berries, at least the berries here, uh, we can move the bush. So we can kind of consolidate them around a forager's hut, which seems sensible. So there's a forager's shack here. So why don't we go ahead and move the bush over here? So it looks like they will just come and plant them around, which means that he can just basically forage in his own back garden. Pending heat wave, that might be bad news for some of the crops, actually. We're going to find that out together, I'm sure. Yeah, so we'll move all these berries over here. And then we'll see what happens with that. Thank you so much for that shout out, Josh. Uh, hopefully we'll see if that makes a difference to how efficient the forager is. Although, to do that, we have to make sure that his radius uh, is in here. So that should be good. And we can do this around all of our forager's shacks. So even if we were to head up to the other side of town here. I think, do we want to start building some walls as well? I think we need another workers camp, don't we? Because we're just burning through resources right now. Um, let's get another workers camp on the outside here. Uh, cholera has returned. Okay, yeah, he needs fresh water. Do we need another well? We have built quite a lot of housing uh, without providing a well for them. How are you guys doing over here? Do you want a well over this side? Sure, let's build these one. We have influenza, Edmir. How do we cure that? Having open beds at a healer can help builders recover while reducing the spread of the disease. Yeah, we should have. Yes, there we go. Uh, villagers are being treated for illnesses by the healer. One out of ten beds occupied. Okay, that's very good. I'm happy with that. We've got some, a lot of firewood now. We can probably reduce the workers here. He has a shelter stock in. Okay. Okay, so having the maintenance here has really reduced the weed levels, which is going to massively impact uh, the production of wheat, hopefully. Same over here again. Yeah, this just needs to hit a maintenance period, which isn't until the start of year three here. So hopefully that turns out okay. Leave our game on three speed. And how many uh, homesteads do we have now? 20 out of 25. We are getting dangerously close to having more homesteads, which is great. Uh, you need to come over here. What do you have inside? Okay, let's bring a storage cart over to this side of town. Uh, there was one over here, wasn't there? Hard, hard to keep track of. Okay, so again, this forager's shack. That's a hawthorn. We can't move that one. So is it only the blueberries that we can move? I'm assuming it must be, because these are the ones that don't have the option. We can't move mushrooms either, can we? No. Okay, so finding those blueberry bushes was an absolute godsend. Um, there's no more over this side. Yeah, okay. There's coal over there too. Okay, so the food stocks are now crawling up. Now we're coming into our first rotation of crops. So we're going to see what happens. Do and start planning out some road expansion there. Right, so let's go down here. And let's see if we can keep it nice and straight against the shoreline. 
It's going to make building a little bit easier for us, isn't it? When we do eventually get over here. This should like really expand at the size of the settlement. Although this is all mega steep terrain around here. So we'll keep the road uh, following the riverbank. The lake shore, I guess, isn't it? It's not a river. There we go. And then super. Is that over by the den again? Where was that predator attacking? Here, okay. Seem to be. Oh, there's berries here. That's Hawthorne. We can't move that. So let's go check on the forager where we put all the berries behind his house. Yeah, for which he's harvested them all. Okay, yeah, so it's a good idea to relocate bushes near to storage uh, for ease of harvesting. Dysentery. Okay, it's not too much illness. We should be okay here. And we've also got our person over here too doing plants. So we'll do another a little set of crops for the Abaris. This is, isn't it? Yes, it is Abaris building. So I'll plant some pears. Hopefully that'll keep some food coming in as well. Okay, so the next crop cycle here is turnips. That's fine. Let's make sure that we've got these sun balance right. Next one is for flax. Let's increase that one. And then this one here is maintenance. After that, it'll be wheat. So we'll add a little bit of clay in. Cool. So I hope we keep on top of those. And so this guy has a ton of grain inside him. Like, literally lots and lots of grain. So let's put it over here. It would be nice if... Yeah, they are starting to store grain at the granary, which is what's ideal, but I'd rather it be in the granary than in the storage car, because it's going to last longer. Yeah, so there you go. He's making the run to get wheat, isn't he? Or to get grain to turn into wheat. I'm never, I'm never going to get that right. <laughs> That's like the whole uh, oil and oil thing in cities all over again. Okay, you're garrisoning. You're all right. Yes, these guys are turning into homesteads now. This is exactly what we want to see. Let's see, there's some shelters here again. You're lacking one point of desirability. That can be easily fixed with a touch of decoration. Let's give him uh, perhaps a small garden next door. And yeah, it'd be really good. My plan here is to get a trader that has iron. And then that will allow us to build some barrels, which will hopefully really reduce the spoilage rate of uh, all the crops here. Yeah, so we seem to have survived the blizzard. People are just leaving stuff on the floor. Would you like to go and pick that up? Hopefully they will. What's that? We've got some uh, decent hunting grounds out this way. In case we want to build another hunting uh, thing out here. Let's go ahead and get some food production. We get another hunter's cabin over this side. Maybe put it in the woods. Yeah, that should be good. Again, severely lacking um, logs, like heavily lacking logs. Uh, what's going on over here? Uh, there is no stone within your range. That's fine. We don't really need stone. We'll add some more workers in. Uh, set your ratio to lots and lots of wood. And then just come and start clearing out all these forested areas over this side. Okay, so we've got some compost that can be spread now. Uh, which field has the lowest fertility? Have a look. Let's go and dump this compost somewhere. 52% uh, is the lowest, so we'll compost that field. And welcome to year number 12 as well, everyone. The village is getting old now, isn't it? Getting very old. Yeah, so we're growing root vegetables here. This field's on maintenance, and this field is now growing flax. I feel like we should possibly do uh, with some more fields. We've got room over here, so we might as well bring this one in. 62% fertility. Again, we've not got vast amounts of fertile land in this map. It's, it's kind of sparse. There's a little bit over by the houses here. But again, these are yeah, these are all crap desirability. Let's delete these houses because we're not going to get them up to 30%. So there's no point in them being here. So yeah, salvage building. And then we're going to clear out all this road. And then we'll see if we can turn this into a farm. We should be able to, I think. That was the wheat. This tree over here as well. It's just dropping food on the floor whilst they store it in. Okay, well, honestly, did they just remove that from the house? I think they did, didn't they? We have another trader in. Please have something good. 
with the peddlers back again. Uh, what does he want? Okay, so we can sell him a fair bit of stone. So yeah, let's sell him all of that. And then what do we want to buy from you? We'll buy grain. We've got a lot of grain though, right? How much grain do we actually have? Or in storage at least. Uh, where is our grains? 463. Yeah, so we've got plenty of grain. Again, you're just not the trader I need. <laughs> it's not what I need from you. Okay. And so he is trading that commodity at above average price for some soap. We could sell him some soap for a fair bit of money. We'll do that. Then, yeah, you're, you're kind of bad, Edlar. You don't have anything we need. One day, everyone, we will have a cow come into the village. I severely hope we do. A firewood splitter. So you have a full stock. So we're actually making too much firewood now. Uh, the logs have become a real issue. Is this because of our uh, Fletcher production, I wonder? Let's bring this back down a little bit. I think this is just eating our log resource too much. I'm not sure what else is eating logs either. It'll be there. The firewood splitters, won't it? These will be burning through it. Okay, so let's remove uh, one from each. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit. We definitely need more housing now too. So let's go ahead and keep getting some of this down. This is apparently a desirable area again, but we'll save that for other buildings. Let's start bringing out some uh, housings on these grounds over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and get some more houses over here. Nice packed in residential areas. We can actually get some back to back here, which would be quite satisfying. So we'll go for that one. Uh, can we add some more workers into this camp? No, you guys are all slowly chopping stuff down. I think maybe we want another stockyard over here. What's your travel time like? Relatively high. So we're going to do another uh, stockyard here, which will store our raw materials, basically. So let's see if we can find a place for it. Uh, maybe over here where there's something of a town centre developing. I love when the jacarandas come into bloom. <laughs> it's so nice. This is my favourite asset. Love the large park. It's all about the parks, right? Okay, so now we're sort of in the flow of the new crop rotation. I think we're doing alright. It will be fertilised next year. Okay. Growing wheat here again now. There's some root vegetables growing in this field. So yeah, I think uh, Louise is spot on with the suggestion there of keeping that kind of offset rotation going in each of the fields. You know, having like one field that has wheat, another one that's being maintained, another that's being fertilized, another that's growing a grain, and then just keeping that offset rotation growing. Yeah, the granary is really up. We can't up the production rate of the windmill, unfortunately. I guess it'll just get ground down over time, won't it? Okay, how are we doing for fertility in this area, I wonder? Uh, let's go for some food production. Yeah, it's slightly fertile lands. It's not the best. We do want this be built. Let's have a look at our uh, villager professions. And we've not got many builders, have we? Do we have 10 labourers? Okay, we've got a lot of the work camps. But yeah, something is... Oh, there we go. Buildings on fire. Love that. <laughs> that one just drops the water. That's so funny. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to build a field here, weren't we? Uh, so let's come into fields. Hopefully we can get one in. Yeah, to a fairly decent size as well. Okay, so hopefully this will give us some food right in the village itself. We'll see what happens with that. You know, these guys are slowly getting built up. Uh, let's have a look at our town centre again. There we go. Yes, we are ready to go. We just need 120 gold. Uh, let me transfer that out of the trading post. Uh, yeah, let's put that in. Let's always leave like a little bit of gold in the trading post so we can always trade at a moment's notice. But here we go, level three. 
But let's get that upgraded. Um, let's prioritize this as well and get more, lots of builders on it. And um, this should really allow us to start building some really cool stuff this episode. Uh, and then we can begin exploring all the level 3 stuff where we can start making armor. Uh, we can finally start making iron ingots uh, to make better weapons. And we can make barrels, which is going to reduce the spoilage rate. That's something I really want to do first. Is, so we'll start preparing for that, actually. Let's come into resources. Uh, and then we want to build the Cooper, if we can find it. Yeah, so we want the Cooper. Um, are you a negative desirable building? Just the Cooper person. So we'll use iron and planks to make barrels, which increase the longevity. So I also know I'm going to want to do the blacksmith relatively close to this. I'm just going to assume off the bat that the blacksmith is a negative status building. So we'll have the Cooper there, right? Let's go ahead and get that built. We'll start preparing ourselves in advance. There we go. We have a level 3 town center. Fantastic. Tier 4 is miles away. <laughs> we need 25 large houses built. So we're going to be at tier 3 for a while, everyone. Get ready to stare at tier 3 for the next 20 episodes or so. But wonderful. This should unlock a whole bunch of new stuff for us now. We have a furniture workshop. A brewery. We can also do that to get uh, the pub stocked up as well. So that requires uh, wheat, honey, and water. We have all of those. Uh, the foundry wants heavy tools. That's going to kick us in the balls. We do need more heavy tools. Uh, the blacksmith forge as well. So yes, yeah, this turns iron ore into gold ore and ingots. The foundry. This is what we want. So let's go ahead and get the foundry built if we can. We are lacking the heavy tools. Hopefully at some point in this episode we will get another trader coming in. I can see what else we can get now. Is there anything in food production that's unlocked? Yeah, we have a preservist building. So preservists bring fruit, berries and root vegetables. This building to prefer and jar them in glassware. Preserved to have a much longer shelf life. We don't have glassware. Which is where I'm guessing we need to have a glassmaker. Which again requires heavy tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can see the pattern here, can't we? Yeah, so if we get one heavy tool in at the blacksmith forge, uh, we can produce our own heavy tools, which fixes um, all of our issues. So we'll have this over here again, because it's negative desirable building. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that in. Let's transfer some more gold uh, out of the trading post. Just want 300 in here. There we go. So, I wonder, can I borrow the heavy tool here? If I tell you to stop working, I wonder if you will actually take the heavy tool over to this place here. Let's prioritize the construction. Because again, if we get this done to the point where that we can make our heavy tools, so you no, know, don't prioritize this one here. Yeah, we want the blacksmith one. So the blacksmith one is going to do... Uh, yeah, see, he requires iron ingots to make the heavy tool, doesn't he? Yes. <laughs> we, we can't keep passing the heavy tool back and forth. Uh, right. Okay. Let's add the heavy tool back into the windmill. We'll turn this back on as well. Uh, we're just going to have to wait uh, for another heavy tool trader to come in. Uh, outside of your town's being a little bit dull, but a theatre would certainly liven things up. Build a theatre to help satisfy all entertainment needs and attract new settlers. This is going to be in amenities, isn't it? Yes, theatres here. It costs 500 gold to make, of course, which we do not have. But enormous desirability bonus from the theatre. Yeah, it's a big old boy, isn't it? Oh my word. Maybe get it on the corner. That's a building for another episode, though. We do not have the gold to be doing that at the minute. But very exciting. Let's see what else we've unlocked. Uh, decorations as well. We've got a large statue. This is very cool. 1,200 gold to build, though. Things are getting significantly more expensive now. A uh, medium statue. Walls and roads. We finally have the fortified walls. Okay. Wonderful. So, let's come back into amenities. Uh, I'd like to build the pub now. Again, once we've got the pub, we can also build the brewery. Okay, so this gives a desirability bonus, doesn't it? Yes, significant desirability bonus. 
So we'll have a pub down by the town centre. Let's go ahead and get that built. And then again, off the back of that, we're also going to want to build uh, the brewery as well, which is in the resources. Yeah, so the, we can build the brewery now. Let's go ahead and get that built as well. Brewery's a big old boy too. And this seems like a good spot for it, right next to the graveyard. If we do build the brewery next to the graveyard, maybe some of the booze will seep out and pick all the bodies in the ground. I'll have to wait and see if that's a gameplay mechanic. But our new farm's been built, that's good. But look at that now with our food stores. Um, Reyes was absolutely bang right. Uh, what a way to farm, that is 100%. Um, if we want a separate video on Farthest Frontier, for those that are picking that up, um, I'll happily make a separate video explaining the farming mechanic and perhaps we can slowly figure out together a kind of most efficient, most optimal farming setup. Um, but Louise is certainly onto something there, so uh, if we can get some yes please in the comments for Louise, uh, that would, I guess we could say yes Louise, couldn't we? <laughs> that would also work. Yeah, so if you guys want a sort of a Farthest Frontier farming tutorial, a standalone video, for those that are planning to pick this game up, uh, we can definitely do that. Please do let me know down in the comments. Okay, but it's a shame. <laughs> We've got all these buildings that can't be built. Okay, so let's just sort of familiarise ourselves. So using coal as an energy source, found you turn iron ore into gold ingots and iron ingots as well. That is a good point. Do we even have any coal? Uh, where's our ores? No, we've got 22 iron and gold, but no coal at all. Okay, so now we're in tier 3, we need to be thinking about coal somewhere. Uh, now, where is it we can do that? Let's have a look if we've found any coal. Oh, it's Iron City over here. I'd like to start exploring around the back of the mountain if we can. Uh, yeah, we really need to start branching out now because all of these resources that we've just been looking at over the last four episodes or so are now going to start coming into play. So we'll see what we can do about them. Uh, this is sand. Uh, this hunter has not found a carcass for a while. Uh, okay. Yeah, the trees really add in. It says that there's boar sighted here. Okay, go and search over here. And then this road has been built now as well. Is there anything serious in missing along here? No, everything's fine, I think, isn't it? Everyone's okay. Uh, construction halted due to winter. That's absolutely fine. So yes, we're now coming into winter. Having 146 people in the village. And uh, 11 months worth of food in public storage. That's absolutely amazing. Although 10 months uh, is possible to spoil. Okay, we'll wait and see. Seems like we're getting a lot less traders these days. Maybe we'll have one soon. Let's also start mapping out some road network over this side. Because yeah, we are going to be significantly expanding the town soon. So let's start linking everyone up through this side. Uh, let's find the end of this road. Yep, yeah, come straight down. But resources are slowly, slowly ticking up. We'll at least get pissed today. Uh, let's prioritise the construction of uh, the brewery. So we do have our little beehives, don't we, somewhere? Our beehives are around here. Yeah, and I also feel like we maybe need some more defences now as well. Now that the town's getting bigger. There was 20 raiders that turned up last time. We haven't unlocked any new defence buildings. I feel like maybe something in the town centre. Just to help support the actual town centre that shoots itself. I think we'll go for that. We've had an enemy sighted again. Spotted near the settlement. So I wonder if we can send soldiers out to deal with this once we have them. Um, yeah, we do have the ability to build barracks, but again, it's an expense we can't bear. And we also can't keep the soldiers stocked with armour at the minute, because we don't have all these tier 3 buildings set up. Um, which will hopefully happen 
It's the heavy tool at the minute that's stopping us from uh, doing much more. What are you doing? You're storing flax. Okay, you just come back inside the town centre here. You're just sort of chilling out here by yourself, right? Uh, how is our Aberis doing? Producing 53 fruit last year. I guess that's not bad. For one person, anyway. Yeah, so iron and wood planks in order for the cooper to make barrels. So having those barrels should really reduce that spoil rate. I'm hoping that has quite a significant effect. We can probably also upgrade these walls now as well, right? We'll find out. Uh, let's start upgrading a lot of the roads around the town centre too. Keep people moving faster. This could also be affecting things actually. Just how slow people move on the dirt roads compared to the stone. So at least in all the major arterial networks, for lack of a better phrase. I'm not sure that's their official term in 1864, but that's what we'll go with. Or the main avenues through town at least. Yeah, so this one's come up to fruition too. Oh, they did cut down my maple trees. <laughs> I like that bit of detailing. It's fine, I found it. Here comes the horde of farmers. Getting ready to maintain this field. Yeah, so you can see now at the end of its full three-year rotation, it is full of weeds. So it definitely needs that maintenance period to get it down. We should be good over here now, right? Yeah, veggies are growing. Just as the food stocks have been eaten over winter. And then, yeah, all these farms come back in now. So we can definitely keep this process going. Okay, so here we go. So, couldn't provide zero entertainment. It's missing beer. That's more than understandable. Yeah, and then you guys here. You'll be producing beer now. So let's start making some more booze. You are unable to work. Why? Why can you not work? Uh, what do you need? Grain. You need grain. We should have a significant amount of grain. Okay, we'll pay attention to the grain stocks in a minute because there's a trader here. And there's planes rider. Oh, he's selling cows. He's selling cows. Okay, we can't miss this opportunity. Um, What does he want to buy? He wants to buy everything that we don't have. <laughs> of course. If you wait like a month, mate, I can sell you some beer once we brew it. Uh, let's go for... Uh, oh, what do we want to do? Okay, let's transfer some gold. We've got a lot of gold. Um, let me just put it all into the trading poster right now. Okay, so that's a game changer. Um, let's prepare for that food and those cows to come in. Let's come into food production. And then we want to build a barn. So this is a massively negative desirable building. Um, there's a fodder bonus over here for the cows. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where they can graze. This seems good to me. Can we get this somewhere where it's not too steep? Okay. This is really good news. This is very, very good news indeed. Uh, let's definitely buy at least one cow from him before he goes. Uh... If we can get two, then we can breed them. So we'll buy and transfer. Yes, we just need some more money. <laughs> we need some more markets. Um, can we upgrade our markets? What do they need to be upgraded? Because they're going to make more money for us then. 250 gold and then 50 clay, for which we have no bloody clay. Of course we don't. This mine is out of ore. Right, that is bad news, bears. We're going to salvage this build and then it's no longer useful to us. Okay, Anders has left us though, but he has left us a cow. That's amazing. We can now start getting milk in too. What's more crop admin to do over here? There's lots going on. <laughs> I sometimes feel as though these episodes are sort of lurch from one job to another without properly completing the next job. It's, uh, it's that sort of game, so I hope it's not sort of too crap to watch. <laughs> There is a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of jobs to do and then sort of do one thing. People leaving beans on the floor. This is fine. Yeah, six months worth of... Sp We're not getting the food stocks uh, warnings anymore. Uh, nine people want to emigrate. Yes, we can accept you in. Welcome home, everyone. Uh, two predators sighted. 
Where are you guys? Okay, he's getting predators over here now. There's another wolf den. Okay, oh, they're guarding berries as well. The wolves are guarding the berries. Alright. Not something I thought I would ever say on this channel. <laughs> to be totally honest. Okay, um... We can also build a charcoal kiln as well, can't we? Um, are you guys producing it? Yeah, you still need wheat. You should be getting wheat, though. Produce materials, raw materials. Storage. Okay, we definitely want some uh, wheat farming going. So I think to help the uh, brewery actually start brewing, we're going to build a big wheat rotation here, I think. We'll see how that idea turns out. Again, it's all a learning experience together, isn't it? I do hope you're still enjoying this game, everyone. Uh, thank you for all the comments on the videos as well. Um, it's been really nice to see you all enjoying it and uh, pitching ideas in together, especially helping us figure out the farming and everyone's enjoying the detailing and the just beautiful aesthetics that this game has. A uh, ton of fun. ton of fun. Okay, so I'd like to prioritise the construction of the barn today. It doesn't look like we're going to get a heavy tool trader before at the end of the episode. Okay, so we've got a crops ready for assignment. This will be at the field. Uh, over here. Okay, so let's have a look what this one is on. Okay. So again, what we'll do here is we'll go for crop one. We'll do something that is heat tolerant. Uh, let's go for... Peas are not very heat tolerant, are they? So let's do carrots and then clover. And then we won't have enough room for another crop in this rotation, will we? No, nope, that's fine though. Uh, then and the next year we're going to do field work and then we're going to plant a grain we'll do some rye because that's super heat tolerant so nice to grow in the summer uh, when we experience those heat waves and then this one we're going to do another set of crops so this one isn't growing many root vegetables but we'll do some greens uh, we will do peas are not heat tolerant at all and then we'll do another uh, vegetable maybe a turnip not very heat tolerant though. Want something that is heat tolerant really. Maybe some leeks. Uh, leeks have a very high food yield. And then we'll sort the sand mixture out for the rye crop that's going to grow here next time. So, more farmers. This is good news. Uh, only 20 berries lost to spoilage. That's really good spoilage. I'm happy with that. Yeah, so we need to get some uh, grain over. Okay, so they are now brewing bit. Yes, okay, they've had a delivery of storage and then there we go so there's now beer let's have a little look at the building so cool this actually looks like the little pits of liquid that are in Isengard where they pull the Urukai out from can we rename the brewery no we can't I wonder if we can rename the master brewer though rename her Saruman and then our pub is being stocked now and it has full entertainment value which is hopefully gonna Keep increasing to everyone's desirability, yes. So these want three types of food. They want candles and they want pottery in order to hit. I'm guessing what will be large house after homestead. Okay, but I feel like we're getting on top of things a little bit more now, right? Things are things are moving along. This is taking a long time to prioritize though. That, <laughs> that wolf absolutely bombing it into town after that one person the whole village chasing after them it's hilarious okay we're going to get this farm set up today and then we'll probably call the episode there so again we want to give probably some defense out here as well just in case we get any wolves coming nearby so we'll have this on the road out of town Maybe next. I guess it depends where the cow's going to go, isn't it? Um, we desperately need clay to really need to find another clay pit at some point. Um, let's go ahead and start getting some exploration markers out here. It seems as though clay and coal are significantly rarer than iron and gold, which is not something you would think, right, in a game like this. 
Any sort of work entails like that. There's some compost ready. Let's go ahead and dump it into our least fertile field. Into this one here. We've got two enemies sighted. Fantastic. And we've got set grazing here. Okay. So it looks like we can have our cow graze these lands. There was a fodder bonus here, wasn't there? Cool. So hopefully our cow comes into it. We want to build a little wall around the back end of the cow if possible. Or the back end of the barn even, not, not the cow itself. Okay, let's build a little little fence here. Yeah, a little bit something like that. And we'll do destructive by building. Uh, no crops killed by frost. That looks like it's a bug. That error code shouldn't be there, I'm guessing. But oh, early access, so no problem. And then we'll add a gate onto that as well. So I'd like to have the cow come into the field if possible. And yes, we do have one within our global stock, although... Oh, there we go. Uh... Yes, select a barn for your cows. Yes, there we go. We have a cow now. How oh, wonderful. So we have some warnings. Not enough food store to last through the winter. And your food stocks are low. So what does he want? I'm guessing the cow is going to eat root vegetables. I believe that they do. So again, we'll see what happens. And again, just in case we get a wolf. Or any raiders out this way. This little sort of out of town farm. Is pretty undefended right now. So we'll go ahead and build it right here. And then we can start to really map out some of these areas now as we begin to expand. Uh, not enough range yet. We definitely need to build another Fletcher's Hut, don't we? It's been a long time since we've done one of those. So things will be dwindling now. There's a lot more people and uh, guards to keep stocked up. So we'll have a Fletcher building. And we'll have this one over this side of town because there are some towers over here. And these buildings need to go now too, you know? It's um, work camps and temporary shelters are now basically inside the town, so... Need to sort that out. Let's have our Fletcher building there. Also going to relocate you guys. Uh, temporary shelter can come out this way. And then I'm also going to move the work camp as well to the outskirts of town now. Yeah, I'm over here. And then we can use this space for some more housing or more amenities and whatnot. Uh, whatever we like. Oh, I need to do these crops on my word. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, so let's choose some new crops. We're going to go for uh, some cabbage and then we'll do... Uh, we can't do leeks. That's too much. Let's do some... Not carrots. Not in the summer. And then we'll do a... Uh, green here as well and then after that we'll do some clover to help boost the fertility and then we'll do some field work to help reset the weed level and the rockiness because it's quite rocky here and then we'll do another grain crop let's go for some rye fantastic so we missed the planting season there that's absolutely my fault my apologies <laughs> so just waiting for heavy tools it'd be really cool if we got that Urka iron claw girl back in she would really help us out. Missed the planting season here as well. Lots of fire being dropped on the floor. Struck with a fractured bone, that's fine, don't worry about that. Uh, okay, so we do seem to have lost the warnings on our barn now. It says crops killed by frost. I hope that my cow hasn't been killed. Yeah, so he's eating root vegetables, that's set his food. Uh, we can enable milking. Which I'm assuming is going to make us milk. Not entirely sure though. The cow is gallivanting around. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell? Why has he disappeared out here? What are you doing? Get back to the farm. Why is the cow running away? 
Is it because I enabled milking? Does he not want to be milked? He has two arrows over his head. But they don't give me a tool tip to tell me what they mean. Still says one population. Do you need to go and like wrangle him in? Yeah, is he chasing him around? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> He's fetching rogue livestock. Okay, I'm guessing that the the wolf that ran past scared it off. He's not doing a good job of catching that cow though, is he? Is he coming back now? Looks like he is. Oh, can you... <laughs> what are we supposed to do? The wolves are scaring him. The wolves are scaring him. Right, we need to stop this. Why? Who is over here attracting the wolves all the time? Oh, he's, he's running towards the wolf den. There's a wolf den over here. Oh, it's all going tits up. <laughs> We've had such a successful episode. Okay. Yeah, he's trying to fetch rogue livestock, but he's doing a horrendous job. Uh, hopefully once that fence is up, it will stop him from doing that. Oh, we're being raided again. Wonderful. Let's finish the episode on a raid. Where is this? Where are you coming from? Are you going to come through the main gate? Please do. That would be massively helpful. The village is under attack. Let's garrison the town centre. We'll see what happens. See if our defences come into play now. Now let's see where they're going. Yeah, they have run through here. Oh, there's a trader. There's the butcher again. He is selling crude weapons, but yeah, it's not really anything we want to do. We could sell him some herbs. Could sell him some beer as well, actually. He's buying that for far above the average price. Alright, let's do that then. Uh, let's transfer some beer while the villagers pillagers. Uh, yeah, let's transfer... Let's leave 10 in global storage. And then confirm a transfer of 32 to the trading post. 17 raiders sighted. What? Oh, this is big. These these raids are getting bigger. Villagers raided. We killed them all. Oh, no. Who, who did they kill? Oh, this is a big party, isn't it? Hoping they won't do too much, although we are running out of arrows. That isn't a good sign at all. We seem to be pretty well defended, though, to be fair. These extra towers around the town centre have certainly helped us out. Although, as I say, that three of them are getting away. Did they just run around the wall? <laughs> What's the point of that? That's not good wall construction, right, idiots. Yeah, they tried to nab off with some beer, didn't they? They killed my forager out here as well. There's also more blueberry bushes out here that we can relocate. We need to do that. Are these blueberries too? Yes, there's lots of blueberries here to be relocated. Well, they killed my hunter and the forager. Okay, uh, did we build this second Fletcher building here? That's the forager shack, isn't it? This guy. Okay, yeah, let's up the production rate of arrows a little bit because few people are starting to win as they don't have enough ammo. But uh, that feels like a good place to leave the episode, guys, at the end of that raid. Uh, we've done some really good stuff today. We've got access to tier 3, um, which really opens up a whole bunch of possibilities for us. But a lot of these buildings now require heavy tools, for which we only have one at the minute, which is keeping the village fed, basically. Uh, so we have to be very careful. And again, a huge shout out to Louise for leaving that comment on the crop fields. We definitely have it surviving the winters a lot better now and then coming into the spring once everything's been eaten. Uh, and then getting back in. We've had one crops eaten by wildlife uh, and then 118 killed by frost. Uh, so that's definitely something we want to have a look at again. This field's not quite as efficient. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know what you think of this game still down below. Uh, keep the comments coming my way. It really helps bring more people to these videos and yeah the village is getting really big now we've got a cow we've got a rogue cow at least is he still chasing it he's retreating why why are you retreating 
Oh, let's, uh, yes, let's stop the garrison. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. So we have a rogue cow. Yeah. There's wolves that just keep coming in this way. Village was raided. Oh, they took 238 gold. Did kill 10 of them. There we are. So we need to rework that wall at the front of the episode as well. Or the front of the salmon, even. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm still playing the game, having said we're going to finish. But yeah, uh, let's thank you all so much for watching. Uh, leave me comments, likes down below um, if you're enjoying this game. And I'll see you guys in episode 5. Uh, where we're going to hopefully get some of these level 3 uh, buildings established. And start getting some uh, really cool stuff made. But otherwise, let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.